Hey guys, welcome back to Wiggy's Wilderness. So as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. We're getting in the holiday spirit. That's right. And in the spirit of opening presents, I have my very first unboxing video. Now, if you guys are familiar with BudK.com, uh, you know that they primarily sell, we'll say, economical knives. Um, they may not be the best quality, uh, but the price is right, and sometimes you just don't want to mess up your good knife. So, uh, what I have here is uh, the surprise bag, and I also have the mystery deal in uh, fixed blade knives. So the way that this works is whenever they get low on stock, they pull that item off of the shelf, and they put it in a bin. Now, whenever they put it in the bin, they slash the price on it, and whenever you order the surprise bag, they randomly pull out of the bin until you get your money's worth. Now, since they do cut the price on all the items, you get much more than your money's worth, because if you were to buy each of these items separately for the surprise bag that I got, it would be over $100. Now, whenever you get the surprise bag, of course, you don't pay that much, and I didn't pay even that much because they were on sale. <laughs> The mystery deal is uh, pretty similar to that, but you get to pick which type of knife you can get. Now you can get swords, you can get fantasy knives. In this case, I got fixed blade knives. They're gonna send me three fixed blade knives. And uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> I'm excited. So here's our box, still unopened. And to do the unboxing, I have a cheap knife. That's right, this is the Smith & Wesson Cutting Horse, and I've been carrying this for uh, probably about five years now. So, let's get to it. Can't wait to see what I got. Receipt. Okay, the surprise bag, $100 value. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And the mystery box, fixed blade knives. That's right. Okay, cool. We also have the current Bud K catalog. Random packing material. Woohoo! Cool. Alright, let's move this out of the way. Start. Good guy. A bunch of stuff here. Let's, uh... See a lot of boxes here. begin. See this first one it says uh, dark side blades ballistic fantasy knife collection. I wonder what that looks like. Well, we're about to find out huh? Okay. Let's see. Ooh yeah that's a fantasy knife all right. <laughs> wow. This has a uh, screaming skull with green eyes. Not spring assisted, but a pretty cool looking blade actually. Look at that. The uh, handle feels like it, it's some type of metal. It's, uh, partially serrated. I think that design on the top here is actually another skull. Let's take a look at this. This is actually pretty neat. Look at that. Now, fantasy knives aren't normally my thing, but actually I kind of like that. 
That's cool. All right. Got a liner lock on it. A little stiff, but I guess that'll loosen up in time. Oh, cool. All right. Get that out of the way. There we go. Kissing Crane. Exceptional quality and tradition. Now, actually, Kissing Crane knives, for a cheap knife, they're actually pretty good. Let's see what we got. They're made in Taiwan. Oh, here we go. Hey, nice. It's like a trapper style knife. It appears to have some type of bone. Some orange wood. What does it say on here? It says, uh, since 1620, Plymouth, Massachusetts. We have two blades in here, and it says, "In all things we give thanks to God our Provider." Wow, that is really nice, actually. There's something on on this one too. It says, "2015 Kissing Crane celebrates Thanksgiving." Hey, cool! A Thanksgiving knife. <laughs> wow. I like that. Fairly sharp. Actually, I got no problems carrying that. I'll give you a little close up of this. I'm sure you can't read it, but it's got a, uh, a turkey. Well, that's cool. I like turkey hunting. I like Thanksgiving too. So I'm really happy with this. Nice. You see we got a little certificate of authenticity in there in case anybody is wondering if it's a real kissing crane or not. Alright. You know, I'm happy with that one. Really happy. What do we got here? Black Legion. I am uh, vaguely familiar with Black Legion knives. Uh, usually if it says Black Legion, it's going to have skulls on it. <laughs> Oh, I was not wrong. Look at this. It's got a bottle opener, pocket clip, and uh, ooh, spring assisted. It's actually a pretty big blade there. And it has uh, red skulls. If you guys, look at that. And actually, it, it, it has some heft to it. It feels pretty good. It's a, this bottle opener, actually that's pretty heavy material. Good solid lock up there. It's fairly sharp too. I like this. Actually, <laughs> it's not usually my, uh, my style, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this so far. I should have done this before. Yep, I see a couple more Black Legion boxes here. Let's see if they all have skulls on them. <laughs> Let's see. This doesn't have a... I don't think these have models on them. I don't know what this is. Ooh. It's a bullet. 50 cal. Wow. The green tip on it. It appears to have... A knife blade. It's kind of difficult to get out, but oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> it's like a zombie, zombie knife here. It says "undead lead." <laughs> that's a uh, that's pretty neat. That's heavy. It's really heavy. It has somewhat of an edge on it, so hey, that's that's pretty neat. Right, yeah, it even says a uh, 50 caliber. Alright, cool. I've shot a 50 caliber before. It scooted me back a couple inches with every shot, but I did shoot it. Yet another 
Black Legion knife. <laughs> this is a little bit bigger. I, I don't know what this could be. Ooh. A fixed blade. This is a bonus fixed blade. I do see skulls. At least on the handle. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> It's like gold plated. That has actually a pretty good edge on it. And as you can see in the handle, it has this little cutout of a skull. Now I'm not normally big on gold, but you know, actually this it has a good feel to it. <laughs> I actually like this. It even comes with a little uh, sheath here. Ballistic nylon. Nice! Hey! Alright. We're doing pretty good here. Let me find a handy spot for this. Yeah, I'll put the big ones down here. Now this... This is huge. It says uh, Kit Ray. Um, you know, it's a usually when you see Kit Ray, that's going to be a fantasy blade. And it says Air Cobra Throwing Axe. <laughs> it says exclusively distributed by United Cutlery. All right, as a, a fantasy Viking warrior guy on here. Oh, and on the back, it says, look for Kit Ray Sporting Knives at your favorite knife retailer, exclusively manufactured by United Cutlery. And it has some dimensions on here on how to throw a, a little tomahawk or a knife. That's pretty good. They even give you directions, and even uh, this looks like uh, some directions on how to build a uh, target. I what this looks like. Ooh, wow! <laughs> Let me get this thing out of here. It's, it's wired on here. That looks pretty nice, actually. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. There's a random piece of wood that just fell out. I hope I didn't need that. It's got a little, uh, oh, okay, I see. The, those random pieces of wood were just uh, backing up the uh, twist ties here. This is pretty cool looking. some heft. It's got a little uh, spike on the end there. The edge is fairly good actually. It's got this like suede wrapped handle. It doesn't feel amazing in the hand but you know for throwing that's uh, pretty cool. I got some other material in here. I wonder what this is. It is a target. <laughs> they give you a target with it. Okay. And there's what appears to be a sheep. Which is actually decent quality leather. Wow. fits in there just like so yep and 
a little bit stiff, but I'm sure it'll break in in time. Wow, they made this to last. Okay, I got one snap done. I don't think I can get both of them. But, yeah, anyways, there it is. That is surprising. <laughs> All right. Now, we got great big box here. Oh, I see another little one in there we missed. Can't forget this little guy, the mini grenade knife keychain. <laughs> a lot of people have been getting these. It looks like a little uh, like World War II grenade. And it has this itty bitty blade <laughs> and a uh, little dog tag type chain, so that you can carry this around with you. Because I mean, that's just awesome. If you're into that kind of thing. So that's that's cool. Alright. Put that back in there. I'm excited to see what's in this gigantic box here. It says Ridge Runner Quality Knives and Tools. Made in China. case there's something heavy in it uh oh uh oh we got something feels like uh, several somethings in here whoa look at this <laughs> this is like a game processing kit. They knew it was coming to me. <laughs> See, you got some rope. I guess that's your, uh, your deer drag there. You got some skinning gloves and some uh, contractor's tape here, some flagging tape. Um, this is handy whenever you're, you're uh, tracking big game animals. Um, like whenever you're bow hunting and you have to blood trail the animal after the hit, you take this uh, contractor's tape and whenever you find some sign, like a little spot of blood or whatever, you pull a little bit off and tie it to a stick nearby so that you can always find where the trail is if you uh, lose the trail. This is just like regular rubber gloves and stuff. This is actually stuff that I already carry in, in my kit. Wow. This is a uh, shocking. What do we got? We have a small knife. This does not have much of an edge, <laughs> and I'm sure it could be sharpened. So that's like a little uh, I don't know what type of knife you would call that, but uh, it looks handy. Everything is held in by Velcro. And this appears to be some type of a hatchet type deal. Ooh, yeah it is, look at that. Well, it's got some weight. <laughs> you got this big chunk of steel on the end here. I guess it's like a hammer slash meat tenderizer maybe. That actually has more of an edge on it than that knife did. <laughs> so, okay, that's, that's handy. Silica gel, don't eat that. Okay. I'm, I'm really, really surprised here. I was not expecting any of this. 
this looks like. <clears throat> Alright, you've got a little gut hook here and a, a little skinning blade. Cool. It says uh, Ridge Runner stainless steel made in China. So nice, nice. Okay. And uh, the, the gut hook doesn't have the best edge on it. But I ain't complaining. <laughs> then we have this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's a really good design for um, skinning. And that has a decent edge. Alright. That upswept blade there, uh, blade tip that really helps whenever you're skinning so you don't actually cut through the hide. Right. And I bet this is some kind of saw. Yep. And it actually it's really sharp and I can see that the uh, the teeth are offset so it should saw pretty good. The blade is bent just a little bit but that's alright. That usually happens even with the uh, decent quality saws um, after some use. So they, there you go, a little uh, bone saw. Okay. Down here we have a little uh, sharpener. Looks like a ceramic sharpener. They thought of everything! <laughs> and... Oh, here we go. Alright. There is another knife with a partially serrated edge with good deep serrations. Decent little cutting edge and another gut hook. So, nice! And the handle has a really good feel to it. All the handles here are kind of rubberized, which is helpful whenever everything gets all slippery. So I'm really surprised with this. It's like they know their audience. <laughs> Alright, it all folds up in a cool little kit here. Nice, nice. Alright. Let's say we got our money's worth out of that. So, next up is the uh, mystery deal of three fixed blade knives. start out with this one. This is the Mini Mercenary and Fire Starter. <laughs> now, a lot of people have this knife. A lot of them. And they're actually pretty decent. In fact, uh, the last uh, tracking class that I went to, one of the instructors had one of these. Not sure if it was this exact brand, but he had it strapped to his... Uh, pack on the shoulder and it's a good handy little knife and it's actually a pretty uh, strong design being a full tang blade. The tang is as you can see it comes all the way down to the end so it's just one big chunk of steel. Well big being relative. <laughs> it is fairly thick. Uh, it has a cord wrapped handle. Feels decent in the hand It has somewhat of an edge on it. <laughs> and in here, you have what appears to be <clears throat> a little tiny ferrocium rod. Now that's cool. Now the way that this works is uh, you kind of... Once you scrape the coating off of this... Well, normally, this would strike a spark. There it goes. Getting a little bit of one. Uh, you gotta scrape this uh, the coating off of the uh, the rod first. I don't know 
know if you guys can see that. It is sparking a little bit. Um, I would probably switch this out with a uh, better quality rod if I was actually going to use this. Um, and it could be, if this is stainless steel, which it is, okay, it says stainless steel handcrafted in China. Uh, stainless steel doesn't actually throw a very good spark on a ferro rod. Um, see if I have some of the carbon steel laying around. Sure, I do somewhere. I should have. Okay, here's a striker. So, the way these normally work, here's the striker, here's the, the steel. Um, it would go like that. Uh, so, try the striker with this ferro rod. And I am getting more sparks with that, I think. Yeah, okay, so it's just the knife steel. Being stainless steel, uh, it's not going to strike a good spark on the ferro rod. Now, you can carry a little piece of like hacksaw blade or something like that and slip it down in this little pocket and you have a steel and a striker and the knife, as I said before, is a pretty decent little knife. So, cool. I'm happy with that. Alright. So, it makes a nice little uh, kit. There. Next up, I like this. This is the classic hardwood coon skinner. <laughs> Take a look here. Oh, okay. I can tell the uh, the sheath on this is uh, gonna have to be replaced. <laughs> this is some kind of. Uh, it's almost like cardboard, but it is a, like a suede leather. The knife itself looks pretty good. I gotta say. All right. So this, the classic hardwood coon skinner. This reminds me of some of the older uh, Schrade knives. It does have an edge on there. It's a little bit rough, but it's there. So. You guys can take a look at that. Okay, it even says, okay, leather sheath included. <laughs> the sheath doesn't have a whole lot of body to it, but hey, I'm still happy. If I decide to use it, I can always make another sheath. <laughs> Cool. I like it. And last but not least, I got this big box here. Doesn't have anything written on it. I wonder what this could be. I have no idea what this is on first glance. <laughs> oh! Uh, some type of bayonet. Wow. Okay. Ooh, there's a pig sticker there. My gosh. Holy moly. There's a little something something down here on the bottom. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. I don't think there's any instructions with it. Uh, but typically for the bayonet, there would be... This would slip over the muzzle of the gun like so. And then this would clip onto a bayonet lug. That's a really long bayonet. It's not sharp. But 
the sheath is actually pretty good. It's got a real leather, actually pretty good quality uh, frog here. And then this appears to be plastic. But hey, that's pretty unique. I haven't seen that one before. So all right. We got a bunch of knives. <laughs> and that's the end of the box. Here we go. All right. Cool. So, we got all this cool stuff. Let me get it all out here. Missing any? I don't think I'm missing any. Got boxes. Boxes everywhere. <laughs> I think, uh, I think that's it. Cool. Alright, that went to our target. Don't forget that. And a catalog in case we want to order something else. Alright, and the knife that I started out with. So, it looks like we got our money's worth. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, where's the, uh, this thing? Yeah. Boom. There we go. We have filled up the table <laughs> with knives and throwing tomahawks and bayonets. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a good time. I was surprised. There we go. All right. So Merry Christmas and uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's free. So <laughs> um, till next time, thumbs up. <laughs>